Well, hey y'all, it's been um, about six months ago since I did a video and I've been busy painting and I think it's been, I mean, I've been painting every day for about six months, I think, in pastel. And I think the last thing you saw maybe was some pastel updates. So um, I'll show you a few of those. Um, I think I'm taking a little break from painting because sometimes I just have to do that. But I painted so many um, pastel paintings. I'll show you some. This is just a few of them. I mean, I've got three times this many more. But I really enjoyed... I really enjoy this medium. I really do. It's really fun. And I think it's really improved my oil painting, too, because it just makes you be a little looser. And so these just, um, I've got so many of these. I've just, they just got so many. I've done a lot of, of palm trees and different kinds of, of landscape scenes. So, so anyway, as you see, I was pretty prolific with the, with the pastels and I, and I loved them and took a wonderful class from, I think is one of the best pastel artists out there. If you like the chunky, chunky look is Alan Picard. So I'll put his website down there and it's, it's a landscape, um, I'll show you what I painted in his his class. Hang on one second. Here's just one of the things that I painted in his class. Th these things, you know, you have to protect the pastel so they do have have um, these um, plastic things over it to keep it from smearing. That's the thing about pastels is you um, you have to frame with a with a glass which I've been so used to framing with not framing at all with my oil painting but anyway so here's here's what you'll learn from Alan he's fabulous so so anyway these these go on and on don't they they really do I mean um, that's little Owens my little grandchild so yeah they go on and on and I um really enjoyed doing this. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about what I'm doing while I'm taking a break from painting. And so, actually, what I'm doing, you know, a little history on me, you probably know, I've been doing art a long, long time. So, um, I'm getting, uh, uh, okay, I was born in 1952, so you can do the math. And I started doing art, I guess I really did, I really did it as a child too. I always had a, I always wanted to um, do art as a child, but I guess really about 30 years ago I started um, learning calligraphy. And of course that's a, another whole art in itself, which is a lifetime art, because the thing about calligraphy is that it is it, it is an art, and it's um, it, well, it's just a wonderful thing to learn. Where you learn the the correct letter forms in italic and foundational, and of course, then if you if you want to go off and do this modern modern calligraphy. Um, you can you can do it based on the true letter forms. So, but we won't go into there. I won't um, pontificate on that particular subject. But anyway, I wanted to show you the journey. I mean, so now here's what I'm doing. I decided to go back and make some journals because there is just something about making a book. I mean, it is. there's something about holding a book, you know, there's something about holding it. There's something about sewing the book that's very therapeutic. Um, for me, it is, and of course, you have to learn step by step how to do it. But um, I, I just love, love making books. And so, um, so here's the thing. I mean, I've been out of this bookmaking, journaling thing for about 10 years. And, I mean, here I come back to doing journaling, and it is the, it's the same thing. They call it now junk journals, and, and um, most of them are, are vintage. 
like this one right here that I did in this is a little freebie from Nick the booksmith I'll put her website down there she's great and she's very um, very good at giving you freebies and so this is just one of those little books and I like to stick scripture in in these little pocket things so scripture is is kind of stuck all throughout so I want to do more of these maybe and put it in my Etsy shop and I, I actually got these these little scripture cards on Etsy but I really would rather print some off myself so I don't have to spend the money to do that so anyway Nick the booksmith so here we are it's all uh, vintage now and you coffee dye the papers oh let me show you my coffee dyed papers hold on okay so mm, yummy 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 mm, smells like coffee it is just look at this these are all um, music sheets that are coffee dyed and you can um, google that to, to uh, find out how to do that if you want vintage journals you know and you look at this mmm look at that oh how yummy is all this look at that it's so yummy and I ironed them they were more wrinkly but I ironed them so anyway this is what I've been this is what I've been doing, and it's just been so, so fun to take a little break from painting. But I wanted to show you something. Okay. So here's that journal that I made 10 years ago from that class, Marianne Moss's class, called Remains of the Day. And um, it's, it's the same thing that, that these wonderful people are still doing today. So here's my question. When I was painting all those years, did scrapbooking just stay? Apparently it didn't go out and come back in. So anyway, yeah. here's Remains of the Day. And it's... Um, it, so all, all of this was what Marianne Moss taught us to do and I sewed it and I painted the painted it and uh, did some goodness how in the world did I do that that was 10 years ago sometimes you look back at your stuff and you're like what kind of zone was I in when I did that apparently in a pretty good zone because I've got all this wonderful stuff in here and you know she wants you to save all these these things right here and you know those um, business envelopes and so so anyway what I'm saying is apparently journaling is still a big thing so since it is a big thing I wanted to show you this all right let me show you this and uh, so anyway um, that's remains of the day now Here's what I wanted to show you right here because I did a class and some of you may have taken the class I don't know um, Called um, Lollapalooza journals and so this right here is the journal that you make in my class called Lollapalooza now Unfortunately, the website that has been up for the longest time since 2008, Gail, thank you so much for providing us a place for all our classes. The, um, this, the, she, ha she closed up. She closed up her site. And so, you know, th you know, sometimes things just come to an end. So, so anyway, I've put all, uh, most of my classes, I put most of them up on a blog that, uh, that I've created, a blog. So if some of you had taken any of, the, any of my classes, you're supposed to have lifetime viewing. So um, email me at, um, I'll put it right here, MarthaLeaver at gmail.com, and I'll be glad to send you the emails so you can watch these um, on my blog. But but, you know, also, this class I have, Lollapalooza Art Journals here, it apparently is still a relevant thing because this is what, what we make in my online class. And I show you how to make it, assemble it, and what we use is a, is a Rubicoil. 
Now, and in the class, what I told you is how to do it, but you, of course, not everybody has a Rubicoil, so you, you take it to um, Staples or Office Depot, and they'll, they'll, they'll do this. They'll stamp it, not stamp, um, punch it for you, and you can put the spiral on it so you can tie all these fabulous little things on it. So anyway, that, that's um, Lollapalooza 1 that, because that's what you learn in that class. You do that, and we also do, like if you don't have art snippets, which I have all sorts of art snippets, if you don't have that, you can make this little one right here called heart thoughts and so it's just um it's scrapbook paper and regular paper is really what this is and you know little files and things like that they're so fun to make now you have to have a sewing machine so i had to get my sewing machine out after gosh 10 years and it took me several days to just figure out how to thread the needle and make it work again so anyway but i wanted to show you and these are i want to show you something about this journal right here, um, about this class, this Lollapalooza class. If you, if some of you have taken the class, um, I'm thinking that for this Lollapalooza class, um, here's another thing that I didn't know, and I think this thing, this type of journal um, assembling thing called disc journaling with these discs. Um, I didn't even know that was around until maybe two weeks ago. And of course, you, you, for the disc journal, it's, it's pretty cool. I think you can use this type of assembling with, for the Lollapalooza class. And the, the neat thing about this is now, of course, you have to have this punch. You, I mean, you can't do it without the punch. It's like $45 at um, Staples. And, uh, but the good thing about it is that you can, um, you can remove the pages easily, you know, Th this is, and then you just stick them back in. And so that's how I made this one. And you like, I, I made it and then I could take out the pages if I wanted to do some sewing on the page. So, so it's pretty cool too. And there are some discs, I'll show you. These discs right here I got from Michaels, and it has um, a heart stamped in it, and it, it, it's, they're all universal. I mean, the, this, the, the punch, can any of the disc um, will use, will, well, um, the punch, you can use any of these discs is what I'm trying to say. And so, you know, I was thinking, now, I haven't made a book with it yet, but here are these did I just put it on a couple of she it will punch through um, the lightweight cardstock so you could make a book that could be pretty thick and so, and then you could make it with these rings right here these rings since it has the heart you can tie you know you can tie the ribbon on it It'd be a pretty cool looking book you know I haven't made one yet but I, I think it I think it'll work I, I do. I think it'll work if you don't have a Rubicoil. But again, see, you have to have the, the arc. It's an arc punch. You have to have that arc punch. So, so anyway, I, I made this one with, um, you have to be, you have to, when you turn the pages, you have to put your hand by down like that. But that's okay. I mean, that's, that's totally fine. So I'll, I put art scraps that um, little paintings and all sorts of stuff that I've done um, in this book, you know, and I've got many more that I've got little art scraps that I've put in it too. You can put little envelopey things too. So um, anyway, scrapbook paper on the front. That's all that is, scrapbook paper. Um, this is collaged, and I show you how to do that in the. If you like that look, that's really fun to do. So so anyway. Um, what else? I made this one. To, there are a couple more I made. Here's, here's one that's um, um, in, the, in that Lollapalooza 3 class. I show you how to spray all these pages, but you got to have, um, well, you got to have stencils, you know. So I, I know for me, I had tons of stencils. I did. So, so you spray with the Delusion Spray. And um, 
So anyway, I made this little journal, sewed it. It's just a, a pamphlet stitch. So that's what this is right here. And so that's Lollapalooza um, spray in the pages, which I show you how in Lollapalooza 2, I show you how to spray these pages. If you want to do it, you know, if you want to spray, and and then you it's still a journal, you still write stuff in it. So um, this is uh, this is one of those pack and tape um, sticker things that's pretty cool too. I'll show you how to do that. But um, so so anyway, that's that. And then in Lollapalooza three, I show you how I make this big grid journal that's fun. It's just all sorts of um, just show you how to set all that up. And um, just you just go for it. And it's just really fun and you write stuff and you use all the stickers stickers and stamps you've ever had in your whole life which I've got tons 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 of them so anyway um, they are up on my blog and I will put I'll put a link down at the bottom uh, of where the where they are and um, if, if you've taken any other of my classes too like calligraphon or um, um, you know, you know, chunky versals, anything like that. Here's another one right here with the spray pages. Anyway, these are some more pages that I sprayed. And, I mean, I did these pages, you know, a long time ago. And just put them into signatures. And then, so I just sewed, sewed a book together. So, it's really fun. Now, if you want to learn how to do bookmaking, I don't think I am the best one to teach that. Um, I, I mean, so in a book, I mean, I can teach you how to do the Lollapalooza, but not, um, not the sewing of the book. Nick the Booksmith and the Paper Outpost, I'll put those at the bottom. So, um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.